Star Wars Unboxing fans, welcome to another episode of Darth Tuba Star Wars Unboxing Show on location at Galaxy's Edge in Orlando, Florida. We note we're sporting our Baby Yoda, not called Baby Yoda, the child, the asset, we know. I think as of this recording, we will know the name of this lovely creature. Uh, that's what I've been told on the final episode of The Mandalorian. So here we are. We are at Galaxy's Edge. We are getting ready to go on, hopefully, Rise of the Rise of the Resistance. Resistance. Not a Rise of the Skywalker. That was a good movie, by the way. Um, we saw that movie on opening night. Absolutely adored it. Um, I'm just going to throw it out there. I think a lot of the uh, negativity out there in the world is really prefabricated. I think it's more just to get clickbaits and things like that. I'm sure some people didn't like every part of the movie, and that's fine, but it was a really enjoyable thrill ride. Great way to end the saga, the Skywalker saga, in our humble opinion. So, go see it, formulate your own. We're going to see it again tomorrow, so we're looking forward to that. Um, and yes, we have our Baby Yoda Holiday Edition here, which was done by our daughter, uh, Karina, and you can uh, find information about her at the at the tag of all my videos, because she also did our opening video artwork. So you can check that out, and if you want to see some of her other artwork, just look for the bumper at the very end for her um, online uh, information. So, we are waiting. We are currently at boarding group 40. We got here at the start, 6 a.m., Yep. And <laughs> it was a madhouse um, just first getting in. But now it seems to have, you know, dissipated and, and kind of spread around the whole park. So we're happy about that. So now we're just going to wait for our turn and head in there. And we'll give you guys a little uh, tour of it as you go. And looking forward to it. That's a pretty big deal. Actually, the indoor queue is kind of fun. Alright, so we tried the blue milk, and now I want to give the green milk a try. I've heard lots of people love it, lots of people hate it, so let's see what we got. Very fruity. It's like, I guess some people were talking about like equating it to like Fruit Loops or Bubblegum. But I, I like it, it's alright. So, good. So, we decided to go with some chicken fingers and fries that we share. Still have some green milk left over, but look at this. It's actually an oatmeal Wookiee cookie. Love it. I go. Oh. A Wookiee Whoopie. A Wookiee Whoopie cookie, yeah, because it's like, it's like a Whoopie pie. It's so. a so Wookiee Whoopie cookie. <laughs> so before we decide to rise in the resistance, we need some sustenance. So we went for a Mustafarian... Cinnamon roll? Lava roll. Or Mustafarian lava roll. That and... Cap. Black, black cap. Black cap. But we... Well, we put a little, <laughs> put a little moof milk in it. Here we go. <laughs> so we had to put a little insert in here. I completely forgot that I'm gonna go build a lightsaber. So we, all of our video about Rise of the Resistance and Galaxy's Edge is kind of out of order. So we did that already, and so, so yes, oof. Welcome there aboard. We <laughs> and we are on the Skyliners now, which, by the way, is you're interrupting my YouTube channel. Caribbean Beach Resort. We're on our way to Caribbean Resort. We are staying in Pop Century and this um, Skyliner will go to there. We'll switch there and go to Hollywood Studios. It's very nice, very easy to navigate and quick. And I don't know, I mean, we haven't had to wait much. I will say that this morning it wasn't running. They said they were, they were doing maintenance on it. So we took the bus as an alternative, but this was and when it runs, it's fantastic. So, um, awesome, awesome, awesome. So we're going to build a lightsaber, and I'm really excited about that. So I'm gonna insert that adventure coming up right now. Ooh, ah, a little bumpy there. Okay. Are you going to go too? 
Uh, we might. We have uh, yeah, two. Reservation. a reservation somewhere. We just flew in with just oh. land. Oh. oh my goodness. Yeah. There it that is. was yesterday. Oh yeah. Holly. Looks like it looks like because of the way it's set up Mickey's that there's floating down. mountains like Avatar. Yeah, but it's just the, it's just. Before you walk the red carpet, All right, so they gave us this thing with we have peace and justice, text of saber pieces, power and control, elemental nature, and protection and defense. Elemental nature, which I think is the one I'm looking at. The theme embodies the force of energy created by all living things, like bilar trees, heart, tusian whale bones, and ranker teeth. Oh yeah. It's a ranker tooth? Oh yeah, we're doing that. Which nature? The hover bike. I think this was used in <coughs> Solo. And complete with Coca-Cola products. to my shirt and this green card that I hand that when it's time to go in. start with perhaps the most important aspect of the lightsaber. The Kyber crystal, able to focus the energy of the Force, to magnify it. The sun call the Kyber crystal the heart of the lightsaber. The color of the crystal reveals the color of the blade. You may know this from some of the great Jedi in our history. A blue crystal, such as the one who wielded by the great master Obi-Wan Kenobi, and his apprentice, Anakin Skywalker, and, of course, 
Qui Gon Jin, Ahsoka Tano, Master Yoda himself, and Luke Skywalker. Violet crystal, rare and beautiful, like the blade wielded by Mace Windu. <coughs> Join that crystal to the elements of sacred design in those moments ago outside that door. Once again, make sure the crystal is at rest on a small tray in front of you. Look! Very good. Now, you will begin to build your guilt. This is the foundation of your life. It is your center of control. It's a thing to keep your hand from the center. Inside these boxes are the aspects of the design you previously selected. You will find the chassis, activation plates, brick, emitter, and pommel bridge. Remember, building a lightsaber is a very personal journey. Thus, if you've chosen your crystal, you will now choose each element of design to make your saber unique. Should you have any questions, the gatherers are standing before you, ready and willing to assist. All <coughs> you can do of them is ask. Now! Let's build. Greetings, how do you think? My name is Roman, and I'm going to help all three of you in the structure of very own lightsaber for like that. Are you ready? <coughs> then let's begin with the chassis, the component of the lightsaber hilts. Now take your chassis in hand, take the kyber crystal you've chosen, and we're going to bond them together by putting the crystal in the chamber at the center of the chassis. There's an easy way to do this. Push the top of the crystal into that spring-loaded top of the chamber. Yep, just like that. Push it into the top and then guide the bottom into place. This will align your crystal in the center position and light up your chassis in the color you have chosen. That's all right. It could be a very difficult process, so if anyone requires assistance, just let me know. Uh, so my friend, give that a little spin with your finger, make sure it's locked in place. The, uh, the crystal, that is. <laughs> Did that light up at all, my friend? Did that light up, man. So might just have to reset the power cells here. Yes! Oh, uh, we have to nice. reset that there. Yeah. What do you think, dude? So these can work top or bottom. What do you like? You know? Thanks. You like these two? Like just top or bottom? Ooh, I think bottom. There we are, my friend. Center. Now, the next step is choosing one of the two pairs of activation plates that you see in front of you. Notice on the inside of these plates in column five, there is a set of red and blue markings. These red and blue markings match the red and blue that's on the side of your chassis. So, to put on the plates, all you have to do is match the blue square to the blue square, and red square to the red square. And they will combine the form of protective housing for your kyber crystal and the activation switch for the blade. Excellent. 
Excellent. All right, give that switch a test. Yes, very good. Test your switch. Push up from the bottom. The black switch on the bottom. Yes, very good. Yep, there you go. Class them together. Give the switch a test. Very good. I know all those sound very bad for a lightsaber, but for now, it means it's working, and it is a good sound that we want to hear. Okay. So, the next step is choosing any two of the four grips that you see in front of you. Now, my friend right here in front of me, notice how all your grips have that wider band around one end, so it's a little bit wider than that end. And your two sets, my friends, notice how all of your grips have that bronze ring around one side. That is the widest end of your grip. That bronze or silver ring goes in towards the middle, towards your activity. All right. Excellent. Yep, you need one for the top. Yep, and one for the bottom. Excellent work. Is it supposed to lock in? Well done. Now when you're ready to tighten the grip into place, get a full hand around it, and then slowly but firmly twist until the grip tightens into that sweet spot. Uh, twist to your... Left. Oh, I'm sorry, you're going to twist the right. Clockwise. Clockwise. To the right. So, sorry about that. How do the roads both feel? Nice and sturdy? Yep. Alright. Alright, both of those feel nice and sturdy? Alright, once you've secured both grips, you're going to select one of the two blade makers, which is going to go right on the top, and twist it in place in a few turns. Alright, yes, and then that last step once you've got the blade emitter on is the pommel end cap, which is going to go on the base end and also twist into place. Actually, it'll be one sure, of these two. Yeah. Yeah. It's the bottom end. Yeah. 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 Once you've completed the construction of your saber, place it on the pedestal in front of you. It's heavy. It's extremely heavy. It's like, oh my god, it's like very it's different than any like things that I've purchased or any other ones that they've sold. Well, it's Ooh. Kyber. Those are where they store the Kyber. <laughs> Nice. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent work. Now when the time comes to activate, we're going to push that switch up. Just like that to ignite the blade. Take these out of the way here. Well done, my young friend. Size of your hat, that thing is. Well done. <laughs> what crystal did you choose? We chose the blue one. The blue crystal. Well done. Wonderful work. God, look at this. Only one thing worse than the tooth of a rancor, that is the breath. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't fit on the end of a saber. Yeah. Oh, the damage we could inflict if it oh, did. Yes. Oh, yes. Any other rancor tooth? Another rancor tooth. Mm -hmm. Another rancor tooth. Well done. Well done. We completed our hilts. Nothing upsetting is happening. <laughs> now, we come to potentially the most dangerous part of the journey. My friends, I'm going to ask you to leave these beautiful hilts on the stations in front of you. Draw a deep breath and step to the outer wall of the workshop. Gatherers, you know what to do. Gatherers are now stabilizing your chosen crystal for their very first action. This is when the crystal is at its most unpredictable and central metal. I assure you, you are in safe hands and in You're in a little bit of danger because you're leaning against a grateful thermonuclear detonator. Brain breaking the Now, we've. Much skill have you shown. You chose it for yourself and you have. Now, join. You will be. It is time. Master, it is indeed 
time to take that first step. We've reached the final stage. The bond between Saber and Builder is about to be forged. In a moment, you will come forward as one. Place your hand on the hilt of your completed lightsaber. And when I give you the saber, you will then, for the very first time, activate the blade. Are you ready? Yes. Come forward and on my mark. Activate. Okay, our boarding group has been called. We are heading back in. We just took a step out for a minute. And it's cool because you don't even have to, you don't have to be in Galaxy's Edge. You don't have to even be in the park. When their boarding group is called, you just have two hours to get back. So, the only thing I wasn't sure about, we weren't sure about how long it took for our boarding groups. And when we came in at like six in the morning, we got boarding group 40. So we didn't know how long it was gonna be. It was about three hours. So use that. And this is on a very busy travel day. This is the day after Christmas. So, you know, use that as a good guide. All right, here we go. Here we go. The Rise of the Resistance, the attraction. Well, let's go through this little side area here. The Rise of the Resistance attraction is very close to the entrance. Um, Galaxy's Edge to Black Spire Outpost. The entrance by the Star Tours Baseline Tap House area. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for joining the call. Thank you, thank you very much. All right, here we go. Oh my gosh. We are joining the resistance. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Not crazy. <laughs> well, I think. With, Are we the only ones in the fight? We're the only ones this time. This is like the end of Last Jedi. It's just us. <laughs> we have everything we need. That's what they tell us. <laughs> I think that this, some of these lines are set up for um, for when and they decide to just have it be you know a regular standby once the popularity way winds down a little. The 
I mean, you gotta give it to Disney for their detail. Sound effect is amazing. A little bit here. Gets thirsty. Yeah. Right, sons? I feel like I can plug like a microphone in and jam, jam out. Yeah, it could be.
Oh, I already like the music. waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on Pokhara. I'll regroup with you there. The Resistance desperately needs your help in our fight against Kylo Ren and the First Order. Remember, it is vital that you keep the location of the Pokhara base secret. Lieutenant Beck, one of our top commanders, will lead you. Affirmative. Transport is ready. Nine number nine shall personally see them delivered. Thank you, Lieutenant. Welcome to the cause. May the Force be with us. Commander Paul Tanner and a squadron of X-Wings shall escort us to the rendezvous point on Dakar. Roger, this is Black Leader. I hear you're a fine-looking group of recruits. I think so. All the time to waste. Let's get you on your way to the General. Stand clear. Get no, doors open. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, okay, okay. Quickly, quickly, quickly. All recruits to transport. No need for safety here. It'll be a smooth one. Ship is now under the control. 
control of the First Order. You'll we'll proceed down the hallway towards interrogation immediately. Don't try anything. We have you surrounded. Everyone out, now. Quickly. Oh my god. Take it back to the 
for intern transport. Let's go, recruits. Alba for the first order notices. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, you're still here? Poe's coming back with an attack force. Get to the escape pods now. Lieutenant Beck, we need to find a way. Recotos para su seguridad. Permanezcan sentados con su cinturón de seguridad bien ajustado. Mantengan las manos, brazos, pies y piernas dentro del transporte y supervisen a sus niños.
came in a little off target. <laughs> Ground crews will meet you outside the wreck. Nice job, recruits. Not what you sign on for, but hey, you resist this now. I think I have that authority. Right, Beck? Where's the lieutenant? I need eyes on Beck. Where's Beck? I know. Scat for his oh, there he is. <laughs> lieutenant Beck here. Beck! Goodbye. I should hope so. Great job, recruits. Thanks to your heroism, the location of the resistance base is secure. Bravo! You too. To, the one thing about Disney is creative. Oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Oh my God. That was so good. <laughs> Can we just come here the next three days? <laughs> oh, my oh my God, that was fantastic. We have to get up 4:30 every morning. Oh, no, that. Thank you. Everybody tells the same thing. The videos do not do it justice, yeah, but do it, justice. it was it was epic. We have to do it with Prina sometimes. We got to get her on air with our daughter, absolutely. So, get here, do it, get up early. Whatever you know, it takes. We're gonna go home and crash now. We're gonna go to the. <laughs> we're gonna go back and uh, come back tonight. But oh, just fantastic. So, Bravo Disney, Bravo Lucasfilm, just. Just go see it. Go go do this ride. Go ri be rise with the resistance. All right. So that was awesome. Thank you guys so much. So that'll do it for this week's episode. All right. Again, we're kind of in our holiday mode, so we'll get back into some more unboxings uh, next week. So thank you so much. This May is the force be with you. Yes. This is Darth Tuba and Rogue Pork Clan. <laughs> on behalf of uh, all of us here, and our, and just. Have a wonderful rest of your holiday and Happy New Year. Happy New Year. May the force be with you. Happy Life Day. Happy Life Day. <laughs> it's a thing here now, true. Yeah.